guys it's Nancy here and I wanted to share with you um, the stash I'm going to be using for my Hey Little Magpie blog post this week, this month even um, and I'm using the new Jen Hadfield papers which is My Bright Life and I've got a kind of a stash of them here so I just thought I'd flick through them to show you what I'm going to be using. Um, I do love um, Jen Hadfield's papers um, I've actually still got some of her last collection, which is Patio Party. Um, and actually, if you just look, the tones work brilliantly together. So if you have got any of this in your stash, it's going to work um, really well. So I'm just going to quickly um, run through the papers. Um, I like a lot of the B sides in these as well. Um, they are kind of like a cream base, not white base, which is, you know, quite nice. So this one's called Flower Pop. So florals with a nice pink, um, field of flowers, so again lots of florals in this collection and this lovely mustard polka dot. Um, this one's called Flower Market, I could see myself maybe cutting some of those out but there's this beautiful navy um, and sort of off-white stripe. Um, these come in um, most of her collections, this is called Little Thoughts and it's little square pieces that you can cut up. Um, these are very much geared I think to card makers because it's got like get well soon thinking of you um, but there's also some that you can use within um, scrapbooking layouts to make your own um, kind of embellishments. I love this one is like be yourself and it's a llama so if there's any llamas out there scrapbooking that'll be handy. Um, I really love this side which is a black with like a stitched flower pattern on um, but I think I'll probably end up cutting some bits out of here that I'm going to use and then the rest will be this side. Absolutely love this paper, this is called Bright Stripes, that's a lovely rainbow um, and then there's this lovely green on the other side. This one is fab, this is called Kitchy Kitchen um, and it's got like very much kind of like the retro Pyrex, it's got like the mixer and spatulas and stuff and teapots. I love this, um, I've really got into cooking again lately but I'm not doing 12 by 12 scrapbooking this year so um but i do love those little elements and then you've got a blue floral on the back this one is called retro stripe so again it's taking all of the elements from that collection into little um border strips really so you've got cars knives and four little pyrex sort of dishes so i can see myself using some of those and then you've got this lovely lime green this one's called tweets little birds birds wearing flower crowns and then lovely, another sort of stitch effect floral. This piece is called um, Flower Rose. And this res reminds me very much of Basic Grey. Um, and it's a lovely dark, sort of navy um, blue. This is Stitched Flowers. I actually got two of these because um, I love both sides. So this is a dark sort of grey with um, florals on and then the other side is this zigzag mustard so I did get two of those because I thought yes I'm definitely going to want to use both sides of that um, this is my um, this one's just called my bright life and this is um, three by four colour parts um, and again some of these can um, be used for making cards or can be used um, for layouts and then there's this lovely black and off-white stripe on here so I might do half and half on this one this one's called Sunflowers, so there's little pictures of sunflowers on pink and then a really great usable black on cream polka dot. This is lovely, I love myself on wood grain as you know and that's got some nice florals on. Also really like this side which is little embroidery hoops. Um, again these are, these are more kind of for cards because you've got happy birthday, happy thanks and all that kind of thing on there. So. Um, I may well just make a card because I've got a couple of birthdays coming up so I think I may use those um, for some cards as well but um, also use that side. Um, then you've got this navy piece here which is called Blue Garden so this is a gingham and then more blue florals. Love this one, this is called Cup of Tea, um, very British Cup of Tea um, with a green and off-white stripe. Um, and then this, um, she does this in quite a few of her collections, this is called Recipes and this is little recipe cards um, which I think are really cute but of course you can cover up the word recipe um, and just use them for journaling boxes. Um, again these ones this say from the kitchen of so of course you could actually cut these apart and put them in a little recipe book um, but I, I really like that 
I can probably use this in my day-to-day -day planner. So that is the papers. And like I said, love all those bright colours. I do then have some of the embellishments. I'm trying to pick stuff up off this mat with acrylic nails is a nightmare. So I've got um, this embellishment pack, which is 40 pieces of ephemera. Um, and there's an assortment of bits on here. Again, these are great for if you're doing cards and stuff because there's ones that say thank you, um, congratulations, things like that. So things you wouldn't necessarily use on a scrapbook page, but also things that you can easily cover up the middle of. Um, I then got the 6x12 sticker sheets. And again, you've got the same kind of elements in here. Love these little socks because as you know, um, if you've watched my channel for a while, I do knit socks. Um, so yeah, I really like these um you've got little leopard print high heels which are fab you've got little peacocks so yeah i think these are going to be great um and i'm going to use some of these in um a planner layout as well or my memory keeping planner um then i got puffy stickers um i love puffy stickers and i thought these are going to be great to use on layouts um i'd love to use them in my um planner but i'm really trying to not put anything dimensional in there because it is getting quite chunky already um so this is 19 puffy stickers so i thought i'd just get them to go along as well and then these are 99 clear stickers so again all the similar elements but on a clear background and these are going to work fab in one of my um planner layouts because they're they're not dimensional but they've got all of the great elements of like the socks and globes and clocks and cooking and all sorts of cool stuff so i think um they are going to work absolutely fab um for that so i'm planning on doing a couple of layouts again i'm still working on travel pictures so i've got some travel pictures um i then i'm going to work a um layout in here so if you haven't seen this um this is the heidi swap memory planner and this is what i'm doing my day-to-day -day, um um journaling in and photos and stuff um i have got a video um that's going to come up which will show this in more detail um i am currently up to end of july i think yeah i'm currently up to the end of july in here it's got a couple of pages i need to fill in so um yeah really super excited to share this with you and i think this is going to work fab because um if i show you an example just here of a layout um, yes it is quite journaling heavy but I'm using lots of sticker embellishments as well so yeah I thought it's going to work fab on that so you'll be seeing some um, layouts in this coming up which is just to make and this is um, kind of a coated gold litter um, if you are in the UK these are back in stock in uh, on Hey Little Magpie at the moment and I absolutely love it I love it so much I've got some little um, tags and stuff um, tucked in here which uh, my friend Emma has sent me on parcels she just always wraps the most amazing parcels so I always keep um, all the little embellishments she does and puts and put in here um, I've also got a couple of little paper clips and stuff as well so I will be sharing more of that um, coming up and um, using some more of these bits so Thank you very much guys for watching this. Um, I said I will then have some process videos coming up but I thought I hadn't actually done a little haul share recently so I thought that would be quite a fun thing to do um, as I've got some new stash and it's something I used to do um, for my Hey Little Magpie posts so I thought I would carry on. So thank you very much guys for watching this and do check out um, the process videos I'm going to make with this stash. Thank you. Bye.